I'm still not fully healed enough to wear the shoes that I bought for her wedding. So I thought I would do a little Asian snack haul. Oh my gosh. So we stopped by Joe's Italian Ice. These are like legitimately one of my dream New Balance sneakers. Also got some blueberries, raspberries. You guys, this is the best $13 I've ever spent in my life. up here but like not in a cute cozy way it's like in a do you have a neck kind of way so yeah I think for sure <laughs> turtlenecks are not my thing because yeah it literally looks like this like do you see what I mean like I look like I'm injured in a turtleneck so I'm gonna have to stick to mock necks but yeah heading to Urban Outfitters for that and then I think I'm gonna also stop by Nespresso and get some new pods I was like researching more Virtuo pods on their website and I saw one that I really really want to try so I'm gonna see if I can get that one today and also more pumpkin ones because Trevor loves the pumpkin pod and I keep telling him to try other pods because the pumpkin one is like limited for this season so it's gonna be gone so hopefully he figures out some other ones that he likes I told him that there's a sampler pack and he should try a few others so that he knows what he wants me to get for him since we switched from the original to the Virtuo I really hate that they don't do one-to-one -one on every single flavor for the Virtuo and the originals. Like there's some flavors that go across both lines, but a lot of them don't. So I don't, I don't understand why they do that. But anyways, heading to Fashion Island right now so I can do both of those at one mall. And like, I know I'm gonna be so tempted to just like try to jump in at my nail salon because like, look at what's happening here. They're not doing well. But the reason why I'm just hanging on and just living with these tragic looking nails is because we're literally two weeks out from Michelle's wedding. So if I get them redone now, they're gonna be like too grown out by her wedding. And I know a lot of people get their nails done every two weeks. I don't like to do that. I'm a once a month kind of girl, especially cause dip is a little bit on the pricier side. Yeah, I'm trying to wait <laughs> and just rock these <laughs> super chipped hanging on by a thread nails luckily they're not too long so i feel okay but they just look 
really bad. So I'm trying to hold out till next week, but I know I'm gonna pass my main out place and I'm gonna really, really wanna go in, but Stella wouldn't be available anyway, so it, it really wouldn't make a difference. Though I should schedule my appointment with her soon to make sure I have it so that I can make sure that my nails are done for Michelle's wedding. It's honestly so crazy that we're almost there. I actually also just dropped off my bridesmaid's dress for alterations because I like, texted the other bridesmaids. I'm like, where does your dress hit on you? Because the dresses were meant to be, I think more of like a longer midi, not mid calf, but like lower on the calf. Mine went like all the way to my fucking ankles. <laughs> the, like the dress literally went to the top of my ankles and I like texted everyone like, where does yours hit? And everyone was sending pictures. For the most part, everyone's dresses hit like towards like the bottom of their calf. So I was maybe like two inches off. I think that's what she said. We we're, we're gonna have to take off two inches to match the other girls. So yeah, my dress was like legitimately two inches longer than everyone else's. So I went to go get it hemmed, but I am really, really nervous about her wedding, <sighs> especially because Spartacus tried to go after a fucking cat today. And even though I was braced for it, I still like twisted my ankle. <laughs> Guys, my ankles are so fucked. I have heels that I'm supposed to wear for her wedding and I still cannot wear heels for very long. I can stand in them. Like I've been testing it. I've been putting on heels every once in a while. I'm really nervous. I mean, I have two weeks to heal further, which sounds like it should be enough time to, for an ankle to heal enough for you to be able to wear a high heel. But keep in mind, this injury happened like three weeks ago, maybe a little bit over three weeks ago. So I'm still not fully healed enough to wear the shoes that I bought for her wedding, at least not for any significant amount of time. So I'm really, really nervous. I might have to get different shoes. I'm not sure yet. That would be a real bummer if I have to, but yeah, everyone's supposed to be in like strappy black heels. So I might have to go and buy like a lower strappy black heel, which is going to suck. And it's also like a little bit difficult because it is a mountain wedding and like she's getting married like on the lake and stuff. I can't have a stiletto. It's just going to sink. Also, I wouldn't want to wear a stiletto just in general. I don't want to wear them, but also with me not having healthy ankles. So I would need to find a lower heel strappy black shoe with a decent sized heel so i don't know i'm gonna wait till next week i'm gonna try the heels on again next weekend and if by next weekend i still can't wear them for a decent amount of time i will have to go buy new shoes but i'm hoping fingers crossed i don't have to my pods i got another scuro because i only got one sleeve of this last time and this has like quickly become my favorite one it's a double espresso then i also got another pumpkin spice cake because um i think i already said it. trevor really loves this one so i know we're gonna go through it fast i figured i might as well get another pumpkin and then this is actually what i went for this is a new one that i wanted to try this is the cafecito de puerto rico it's a like limited edition double espresso. I'm really a fan of the double espressos for my iced coffees, but they actually, for the Puerto Rico one, they were actually serving it. So they made me up a cup of it so I could try it. I mean, I was already going to buy it, but I still definitely wanted to give it a try. I mean, it might taste a little bit different when it's iced with all my creamers, but. Hmm. Ooh, that's really good. And super good. It's definitely not a sweet coffee. So if you prefer like coffee with cocoa notes or fruity notes, this is not, this is definitely more woody and like tobacco. And actually like when I was walking back to the car, it literally smells like a cigar to me, which I love. Like I love cigars. So yeah, that's really good. I would prefer it with some milk, but it's good on its own. Like it's good black, which is always the mark of a good coffee to me personally. God, someone has their brights on. Dude, turn those down. But I'm going to order my food from this Pan Asia restaurant. Literally the name of the restaurant, by the way. I'm gonna pop my food in for an online order so that it's hopefully ready by the time I get there. I'm gonna do the D2 Mongolian barbecue, which comes with one serving of barbecue, two biscuits, egg roll, and rice. Interesting, okay. Okay, order is in, so let's go pick her up. 
here's the meal. I've got my Mongolian barbecue side of rice. It's a very small side of rice. I thought this was the side of rice, but this is some soup. And then it comes with two buns and an egg roll. I feel like this is the type of place where it's probably better for you there. So you get like the Mongolian barbecue experience, but everything smells so amazing. So I'm sure it's still gonna taste delicious. Yes, that place is a new go-to, that Mongolian barbecue. Oh my god it was so fucking good but i'm gonna stock the new pods that i got also i don't know why i got these aaron dios because honestly i'm not a fan of the flavor and also they're a gran longo which is 5.7 ounces which is too small for the size of coffee that i like and is way bigger than a double shot which is what i use for iced coffee so no idea what i'm gonna do with these but i mean we'll probably find some way to use them but they're definitely not gonna be a go-to but i'm just gonna stock up on the new one that i got this cafecito de puerto rico nice double shot you guys the pot on this is really nice looking it's like black and red definitely very halloween themed i think i'm just gonna alternate with the scurros because then it's like this is the double shot row oh gosh come on ah the one in the back is always the hardest can i take this tray out no all right yeah the one in the back is like always the hardest to do Stopped. i like almost never want to pull pods out of this because I don't want to mess it up when it's like perfectly stocked, you know? But, gotta do what you gotta do. Get Sparts food going. Sorry, Sparts bowl is so disgusting. He licks the sides all the fucking time. But we've like upped his food, and you guys, he is literally the most real thing ever. He was just having a lot of hard days. Like he was having a hard time even getting up on the couch. So I did a little bit of research and I beefed up his food. So in here now I've added celery, ginger, quinoa, lentils, and turmeric. And his breakfasts and dinners are about 80% cooked food. And then just like a sprinkle of kibble with preferably some bone broth. But right now we just have like a backstock of regular chicken stock. So we're just using that. Just more to soften his kibble for him since he is older. But yeah, like that looks stunning. I mean, put this over rice and add a little bit of salt and pepper and I would eat it. It's really helped. He's like almost a brand new dog. He's jumping onto furniture again. He has a ton of energy again. Switching him to mainly cooked food and also tailoring the cooked food for a more anti-inflammatory diet. If you have an older dog, consider doing that. Good boy. Wow, my hair. I swear to God, I'm gonna look better in this vlog. I promise you guys. But before I start getting ready, I just got back from the gym and then also ran a couple errands. I went to Target and, oh, I should put that stuff away. But I also went to the Asian market. So I thought I would do a little Asian snack haul for you guys. I fucking love getting Asian snacks so much. It just like reminds me of my childhood because we used to shop at the Asian market constantly. For anyone who doesn't know, I'm Filipino. I know I look ambiguous, but just to give you context, Filipino. So I grabbed a bunch of snacks and a lot of these I got duplicates on because you guys know we're headed up to Big Bear in a couple of weekends for Michelle's wedding. And we're actually leaving in like a week and a half because we're getting there on the Thursday. In her text messages, she suggested that everyone bring any snacks that they'd want to stock at the cabin. And I decided I'm bringing Asian snacks. So uh, I got duplicates of everything because half of the snacks are to eat here, half of them are to eat at the cabin. But the first thing that I got are the Calbee shrimp chips. These are my freaking favorites. They're so good. I love them. Sometimes you can find these at like Vons and stuff, but I'm obsessed with these. I'll like literally eat the bag in like one sitting. Then, oh, I've been looking for these. So I've been getting pork rinds from just like the regular grocery store and they only ever have like salted or barbecue, which I don't want either of those flavors. I want the vinegar flavor. So I got the vinegar, chicharron, pork rinds, whatever you want to call them. One for here, one for the cabin. It's another one I got to do this bit of. I Oh my god. Every single time I go to the Asian market, I always have to get these gummies. They're my fucking favorite gummies. It's from the brand Frutia. And this flavor, you guys, straight fire. This is the Muscat grape. Sorry that I wasn't in focus for a little bit. But anyways, don't get the regular grape. Get the Muscat grape. It does make a difference. It's so fucking good. Like, so good. 
Um, I don't want one now. They come individually wrapped, which, you know, I hate, but I mean, it keeps them separated. But this is what the gummy looks like. It has like a little like powdery substance on the outside of it, but you don't taste that at all. It's really good. Mm. Mm. Okay, one more. One more. That's why I don't do Asian snacks like super often. I will literally eat the whole bag like every time I do Asian snacks. I also got the Koala March. I'm sure you guys know of, I think, is it Hello Panda? I like both of them equally and the place that I go to just, they stock more of the Koala March. So I got two of these from the chocolate flavor. This bag is going to be my cabin bag. And then I don't know if I'm going to wait until the cabin for these, but I haven't tried these before. These are every burger. And they are burger shaped chocolatey filled cookies. So I was hoping they were individually wrapped. Well, I guess we're eating them here. I was very curious about it. Oh my god, look how cute they are! Oh, they're, oh, well, that one's done. But they're like little mini burgers! Oh my god, that is so adorable. It even has the sesame seeds on the top of the bun. I can't. Mmm. Shit, those are fire. Okay. Well, that's a new staple for me to get when I go to the Asian market. I might have to go back and get more of these for the cabin. I got this just for the cabin. You guys know Pocky, but this is the crunchy strawberry flavor. I know that you can find regular Pocky at the grocery store. This one you can only find at an Asian store. It's a chocolate biscuit stick covered in strawberry cream and then has like little pieces of like freeze dried strawberry in it. It's really good. But I only wanted one for the cabin. It's not like something that I'm always dying to eat, so. I only grabbed one. And then the last ones aren't snacks. I got Trevor, this is his favorite instant ramen. He said it's like the best instant ramen he's ever had. So especially if you like a spicy ramen, try this one out. They do have that sometimes at Bonds or Pavilions or like, I don't know what the equivalent is for anyone who's not in the, like the Southwest area, but whatever the, I guess Albertsons? I know that they're the same company as Vons. Whatever it is in your area, they sometimes have that there. Oh, and then I should start warming this uh, prep. The ginger went everywhere. But I got a chicken yakitori bowl. Looks really, really good. I was so sad. I like, I walked into that market and I remembered, I always forget that they have like a little ramen deli where you can get fresh ramen. <laughs> of course, it was closed today. I was so upset. And then it says to warm up for two minutes. Then lastly, while that's warming up, I got a soy sauce. So I used to have a friend who he studied how to make sushi and like, I never got a chance to try his sushi, but apparently his sushi is like amazing. Like he legit knows the real way to make sushi. So he's like very into Asian cooking and stuff. So I was talking to him one time about like how much I love fucking soy sauce. And he was like, well, have you tried like good legit authentic soy sauce and I was like what are you talking about and he was like you can only get it at the like the Asian store and I was like okay no I get just get like Kikoman so he brought out this exact bottle of soy sauce and had me try it and you guys it's so fucking good like you know I am a huge fan of soy sauce I love soy sauce I won't even have low sodium soy sauce because I'm like it doesn't taste the same please don't sit here and tell me that it tastes the same it does not taste the same at all so he had me try this and I, I thought I knew good soy sauce until I tried this. This is so bomb. Like this is something that I would use for sushi. Maybe just sprinkle it a little bit over rice, but I wouldn't use it for cooking because I want to be able to like fully taste the soy sauce. I don't know, maybe if I was making like a fried rice and I really wanted to elevate the fried rice, I might use this, but I don't know. I almost feel like if you cook this out, it's like a waste to use this because it's it's so good. It's definitely more than your regular average bottle of soy sauce. Not terribly so I, it, it was like 10 bucks for the bottle which if you guys know like a bottle of kikaman about this size is maybe five so it is more but it's not like outrageous and it's definitely worth it because it's so good i think i'm gonna put it on top of this bowl anyways i'm gonna have lunch and then i need to get ready and film a video and tonight trevor and i are gonna go to the haunted car wash slash they call it the tunnel of terror i'm really excited for this because i'm so interested in it it's so unique and i've been like watching the tiktoks on it and it looks really cool like i said just a very unique concept so we're excited to check that out and then we found a restaurant called nova kitchen that looks really really good it's like asian fusion or something like that so we're gonna check out that place tonight for dinner after the car wash and i was even like looking at my car today and i was like damn i need a car wash and then i was like oh yeah that's right <laughs> this date is like a two for one i'm running an errand but also like taking us on a 
themed Halloween date. So it definitely works out, but I'm gonna put my shoes away and eat. And I'll probably see you guys a little bit later after I get ready. Makeup and hair done. Well, I was doing a hair tutorial video. It was help pick my hairstyle for Michelle's wedding. If you guys want to check that out, I think it's coming out after this video. But yeah, I did a tutorial for three different, pretty simple, easy to do, like low bun-ish style hairstyles to choose from. So. Make sure to look out for that video. Let me know which style you think I should wear. But yeah, I had my makeup done for that. Had my hair done for that. But this is the outfit for tonight. The leather corset is from Shoe Dazzle. Bag is JW Pay. My ruby bag. Jeans are black distressed Abercrombie dad jeans. And then it's my first time in heels actually, or any type of heel. It's not the most comfortable, but I'm trying to get my feet used to it so I can hopefully wear heels for Michelle's wedding. But those croc boots were old from Nasty Gal. I have a trench coat because it's gonna be cold. Not that we're gonna be out in the cold, but it doesn't hurt to have it. Oh, and then I also brought some shoes. These are like Birkenstock dupes in case I need to change out of the heel. But on our way for a little Halloween date. Any guesses? Uh, it's in Anaheim. Yes. <laughs> Good job. So you're just gonna follow this line? Do you see it? Uh, no, yeah. It's right there. Like we're literally like looping right over here. Do you see it now? Yeah. Uh, haunted car wash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is why I wanted to take my car, but then when it started raining this hard, I was like, well, we could've taken yours. How do I turn your <laughs> That's kind of cool. <laughs> right? And on TikTok, it looks really, really cool. Like, they come up to the car. If you have the window open, apparently it's like they're allowed to touch you in the car. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So oh, if nice. you don't want them to touch you, close it. I'm going to close mine. But, but yeah. Nice, babe. Thank you. <laughs> I nice saw it. Surprise. I saw it, and I was like, what the hell? That's so random. But, yeah, the more videos I saw of it, I was like, this is actually pretty, it looks pretty legit. <laughs> of them to do too because when the car's foaming and stuff you can't see what's coming at you so that that was like creative of them to use that yes. to create that and also extra revenue for the car wash place after hours um, reminiscent of the movie crazies because yeah. they had a car wash scene in that yeah so that was fun not necessarily something that i'd be like oh my god we have to do that every single year but definitely something to at least do once yes and like even when you're in line you guys saw they have like the actors coming to your car and stuff banging on your car so they were pretty funny too yeah they were they were really funny highly recommend but now we're on our way to noku kitchen Nova? Nova. I don't know why I keep thinking it's no kill. Nova Kitchen. We're gonna go get some dinner. The restaurant looked really cool. We found it on TikTok as well. Like, it looks cool. She calls a fever. Who do you do, baby? Can't nobody touch her. You do. Yes, you, baby. I Follow the leader. Will you? Yes, you, baby. Guide me through your features. Who do? Yes, you, baby. I get excited about what's in front. So we stopped by Joe's Italian Ice. This place is so fucking good. If you're ever in Anaheim, like if you're at Disneyland, leave Disneyland, go get this. It's so good. It's just right down the street. I haven't had this place in like literally. Turn left onto South Harbor Boulevard. In like literally over two years. It's been so long. Love it so much. They rotate the flavors all the time. 
I got tiger's blood today and I ordered the wrong thing. I had meant to order a gelati, which has the custard, whoa. So they gave me the custard separately. I had to like buy a separate one, but still tastes the same. So fucking good. So it's Sunday now. I'm getting ready to head out to Costco. Have on my outfit, although I might, although I might steam these pants. They've been like folded in my weekender bag. Folded, but somehow got wrinkled. Excuse me, Bubba. So I just have on the cider cargo pants and then I don't even know where this is from. I've had this for so long, but it's just a black t-shirt crop top. But I just got in my New Balances. I had a list of like three different New Balance sneakers that I desperately wanted, but they're so hard to find, like literally impossible to find. And I finally found two of the pairs from Goat. I had seen them on StockX, but StockX is so expensive and Goat is another type of sneaker reseller and the sneakers that i've wanted were a little bit less on goat one pair is still extremely expensive so i'm just gonna ask for it for christmas but the other pair was under a hundred dollars it's weird with goat there's different pricing for different sizes luckily my feet are the smallest size so usually they fall on like the lower end of the pricing spectrum but these are the new balance 530s and they're in a specific color that is so hard to find now but i decided i wanted to wear these out today but new balance i'm so excited for these these are like legitimately one of my dream new balance sneakers if you've never shopped with goat before this is my first time even they have the shoes sent to them first from like the reseller so that they can verify and check it and they include their checklist in there so this has been checked for everything color and shape material and structure stitching sole label and tag, making sure that there's a right and left, shoe condition, box condition, accessories, all of that. So everything's been verified and checked, but <gasps> oh my God, you guys, I'm so happy. I've wanted these for so long. Wow. Oh my God. What size is this? This looks big. I mean, technically these are a men's shoe. They are gonna be a little bit big on me. I got the smallest men's size possible, but these are the New Balance 530s, and this is in the color khaki. This is extremely hard to find, but it's not white, and it's it's like almost like a beige color, like an off-white, and then it's got like the black lining on everything, but obsessed. I've been wanting these for fall so bad and they've just been so hard to find and these were under 100. I think that for my size it came out to like $92 or something like that but then you have to pay for like shipping and handling and stuff so a little bit over 100 but still definitely worth it. Very happy with this. So I'm gonna put these on and get dressed and then we're gonna head out of here for Costco. You guys they're so perfect. Oh my god I'm obsessed. You can barely see them with these pants but <gasps> I love them. They're so cute. This is exactly what I wanted. I'm so freaking happy right now. So they are a little bit big. I think the size that I had to get that was like the smallest that they offer was the equivalent to a women's five and a half and I am most definitely a true women's five. So just a tad big but not so big I can't wear them. There's just like a little bit of room in the toes but that's totally fine with me. Here is the full fit. So I added on my new sneakers that I love, my Louis bum bag, cause I'm running errands and I just want something that's gonna be hands-free and easy. I decided I'm not gonna steam these because I'm already running behind in my day. And then I just threw on a cap because my hair is thrashed from practicing the hairstyles that I have as options for Michelle's wedding. So that's the fit today. I think I'm gonna bring a tripod and shoot this though before I go to Costco, cause I'm feeling this fit. Just got done at the grocery store as well. The goal was kind of like to stock up this weekend since we're leaving Thursday for Michelle's wedding. You know, we're not gonna be home for like half of the week. The goal was just to kind of like stock up for a week and a half, which I think we accomplished. We might have to go back for a couple of things that are like highly perishable, but other than that, pretty much have everything that we need. Although I am missing jumbo shells for a recipe that I wanna make. So I'll stop at a different grocery store for that on my way to go get my liner. I decided I wanted to try kava. I can't believe I've never tried it. I hear people like raving about it and I think I just like assumed that there wasn't one near me when there very, very much is. So I'm gonna order from them because I really wanna try this place. Why aren't they taking orders right now? I'm so confused. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go to kava. Never mind ordering online. It's all good. 
I don't have anything that's like crazy perishable, like ice cream or something. That's gonna be ruined if it melts a little bit. So it's okay if it's gonna take me a little bit longer to get home. Oh my God, do you guys see this? Someone put foam in the freaking fountain. That is hilarious. Also, tell me why I just got my car washed and my window's so dirty. This is why you don't get your car washed when it's raining, but that's hilarious. Sir, don't you dare think about it. Just got home from all the errands and from getting kava. I'm so hot now. I just brought in all of the groceries, but I thought I'd do a little quick run through of what I got from Costco. It was mainly just like a little restock trip, so not anything like too crazy. You guys already saw Spurt eyeing this, but I got the Costco rotisserie chicken. Also got some blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, and strawberries. They were like such a good price. Like the raspberries were $2. The blueberries were like $4. I, I was shocked at that. And then I also got a refill of my Vital Proteins collagen and then some more Kodiak Power Cakes pancake mix because I was running low. And then in this bag, I got salami, thick cut bacon. I really wanted it for my breakfast again. And then just some lean ground turkey for both Spartacus and I. Also got a case of Topo Chico to bring with us to the cabin and then some bone broth for Spartacus and I. And then I also stopped by PetSmart. I got him a new food. This is for seniors and this is like especially for seniors with sensitive tummies. So I got a small bag just so we could test it, make sure he likes it. And then I couldn't resist. It was on sale. I got him a Chewbacca costume for only 12 bucks. And there was one left and it was an XL. So I was like, perfect. That's just a sign that he needs this Chewbacca hoodie. You guys, this is the best $13 I've ever spent in my life. Look at you. You are the most handsome Chewbacca I've ever seen in my life. Look at this. Oh my God. Dad is gonna love this, Bella. I know you're so annoyed with me right now. So I got wildly distracted and I totally forgot that I had kava to try for the first time. So for my bowl, I did basmati rice, hummus tzatziki, chicken, tomatoes, onions, cucumber, extra kalamata olives, fire roasted corn, and then I did the sauces on the side. I think that, I don't know which one's which. She didn't close the garlic one all the way, but this one's like a garlic sauce. This one I think is tzatziki. And then I got a lemon tahini, and then I also got the pita bread. I'm just gonna take. How many did they give me? So it's one each because I also got Trevor a bowl as well. So I got the pita bread, and then I've heard that their pita chips are fire. So I got the pita chips. I'll try one right now. They're really good. I won't call them a pita chip though. Not crispy at all. It's just like an extra toasted pita. But it's still soft in the middle. But this is really good. Here's what my bowl looks like. It looks so good and fresh. Like I can't wait to try this. So I'm going to try it with a little bit of the garlic sauce. This is like everywhere because it exploded. Since again they didn't close it. But. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm shit this fire well this is officially a new like regular spot for me i'm just gonna try some of the dill sauce or the tzatziki sauce oh that's really good okay i did the sauces on the side so that a trevor and i could share them and then like b i could try it in case i didn't like it i don't want it all over here for sure in the future would do tzatziki at the end along with the garlic sauce now, let me try this lemon tahini okay i'm gonna go for this tzatziki i should have asked for two of the garlic because i know for sure trevor's gonna like this all right you guys i'm gonna go ahead and end it here trevor should be home fairly soon so that we can watch the house of the dragon season finale i'm like so sad that it's like already over but tell me are you team green or team black and uh if you are team green i need to know your reasoning because i can't even possibly understand being team green i love you guys thank you for watching and hanging out with me this weekend and make sure that you're subscribed so much wedding stuff coming up because i can't believe michelle's wedding is in less than two weeks that is so insane but very excited for it can't wait so again make sure you're subscribed so that you can follow along and i will see you guys in the next video
What a fella gotta do to get you next to me? Just slide on over here, girl. That's right.